Hey guys, it's a Saturday and we're going to be sipping on a little something this Saturday. That's right, I'm sipping on some Romano Vineyard and Winery Liberty, their semi-sweet wine. It is a wonderful wine. I love this one. I actually volunteer with Romano Vineyards and Winery, so I will speak highly about them all I want. Their semi-sweet wine is a mixture of a Vidal and a Cayuga grape, and they actually grow these grapes at their vineyard in Brandywine, Maryland. So if you're from Maryland, you're from Prince George's County, if you're just from anywhere and you visit Maryland, you have to check out Romano Vineyard and Winery. Their semi-sweet white wine is delicious. Pour me a little glass because when I'm done with doing this video, I'm gonna have some uh, shrimp Alfredo and it's great with that. This semi-sweet white wine is great with like pasta dishes, salads, um, shellfish, any type of fish, you'll love it with something like that. So it's a great wine. Check out Romano Vineyard and Winery, Brandywine, Maryland. So enough about them. I had to show you all what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And it's great. Look what they have here. The Ultra Palm Olive. Do you see the size of this? It's their 18 ounce. Um, which is great. I think when we got the green apple palm olive at the Dollar Tree, they were 20 ounces, if I'm not mistaken. But these 18 ounces are just as good. It is not that 16 ounce that we usually see there. So you've got to pick these up if you see them. I ran in there today and picked up the last four they had of the lavender and lime. Um, I don't know why I left the day before. It was yesterday. I don't know why I left yesterday and just bought these two. I was tripping this is the 18 ounce and so this is the passion fruit and mandarin they had no more passion fruit and mandarin on the shelf but they did have four more of these today so i grabbed the four they had i didn't you know what i didn't even check to see if i went to another dollar tree this evening because i had to get bread i didn't even check to see if they had them i was tripping again so nevertheless great deal for a dollar y'all great deal for a dollar I grabbed these Golden Farms. These are crispy um, onions, lightly salted, bold flavor, non-GMO, uh, zero trans fat. It's just a 2.8 ounce bag. But of course, you know, these are great on something like your green beans. Um, they're also good for me. I'm just gonna sprinkle these on top of a salad. What do you wanna tell me? What? Um, get us 50,000 likes. I don't even have 50,000 subscribers, so I won't be getting 50,000 likes. <laughs> yes, but if you like the video, then go ahead and like it. I picked up these Snaps Deep Fried Dill Pickle Slices. They are a 4.48 ounce box. I've already opened them and eaten them today, and they were a great little snack. I kept trying to think what little concoction could I come up with to dip them in. I didn't want to dip them in mayonnaise. I wasn't too sure what that was. If you have an ideal of what you would dip them in, what I should have made, then let me know. Next time I buy them, I will try to make up a little something. I just ate them regular, sprinkled a little Himalayan pink salt on them, put them in the air fryer. They were good. I liked them. Me too. They had pickles in them. Mm -hmm, they were good. He, him and I ate them. Mm -hmm. So this is old El Paso chili seasoning mix. And... I tried this today. I really don't ever remember using old El Paso chili seasoning mix. I've used, like, I guess it's McCormick chili before. This is really good. I actually made chili today. Um, and like it, boys? Okay, I got a thumbs up from my oldest. Chandler's eating some now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd buy this again. And I'm not sure if this is the best price. If you probably maybe can get it cheaper at Walmart, I don't know. But being that the Dollar Tree had this and I needed it, um, I made it with ground chicken today and, of course, added the kidney beans. And I added uh, some diced sweet onion tomatoes. Um, well, tomato, diced tomatoes, excuse me, with sweet onions. Um, but it was really good. I did enjoy it. Uh, this, actually, if you all uh, can believe it, is my first time trying the Ferlani Texas Toast Parmesan Garlic Toast. Now, I'm always the one who was trying to get the most for my dollar. And that's why I've never tried these, because you only get four thick slices in here. Where with, you know, the regular garlic toast, you get six. So, um, I again, first time trying these, I actually already have heated them up. I'm waiting to go. I, I ate one, but I'm waiting to go 
eat another one with my shrimp alfredo I was telling you about. And, and these are good. He's telling me he enjoyed them. Thumbs up for those. I picked up a couple of books at the Dollar Tree. It's been a minute since I grabbed books because I was grabbing a lot of books from the Dollar Tree at one point in time and didn't have any time to read them. We're not doing that, right? Can't do that. Because um, those same books you can get from the library for free and return them, you know? So a dollar is a dollar. Don't want it wasted. But I did pick up this one, which is 150 calorie cocktails, all natural drinks and snacks. The back is covered up, so I can't tell you how much this book originally cost, but flipping through it, I really just liked some of the cocktails I saw in here, and that is something for me that I just want to start trying, trying little cocktails outside of the wine favorites that I like. Um, pictures are all throughout here. So, grab this one, but there were an assortment of, I guess you would call them drink recipe cookbooks at the Dollar Tree when I saw that one. And if you follow me on Instagram, I did put a picture up of, they have a book that is Shots and Shooters. They have a book of making um, alcohol-infused popsicles and little frozen treats. And then there was, a other, there was another cocktail book of like 200 cocktails, and it was a little bit of a thicker um, but smaller book. That was really nice. I thought this was a good gift book to give for those who I know like doing their nails. This is Get Flawless Nails at Home. Make your own nail decals. And it actually also comes with um, some free decals to wear and go. If you can see that there. See them on the back? Woo, my hand hurts a little bit. And there go the decals on the inside of there. So again, I just thought this was a really good book to have, and I can't tell you what the price is on that. Let me look on the front cover. Oh, here it is, US $18.99. And the Jessup Dollar Tree was the one I stopped at, and they had a lot of those. Okay, so found some really great stuff. The Q-Tex Care um, Foot Cream Heel Softening. Now, I was, I have already picked up the other two. One is like a hand and cuticle cream. And the other one was deodorizing foot cream. Well, this is a 3.5 fluid ounce heel softening. This was the only one I didn't have, so I grabbed a couple of these. I also grabbed this Dove Men Care Extra uh, Fresh. This is the body and face bar, which is 3.17 ounces. The Dollar Tree, when they sell these Dove bars, they are a smaller size than what you would get in the regular uh, pharmacy or grocery store. But still, I think a good deal for a dollar because Dove is very expensive. And I wanted to have my boys try this. I have had them try the body wash in this extra fresh scent, but not the bar soap. And I do know they like the extra fresh. So I figured they definitely like this as well. Now, this is the new Pure Kick Energy Drink. You get six singles to go in here. I showed this in my last haul, but it was the, is it cherry pomegranate, Bryce? Okay, so it's cherry pomegranate, but this one is the blood orange, as you can see. And he hasn't tried this one yet. I know he wants to get to trying this. He likes the cherry pomegranate, so we'll see how this one is and tell you how that. Can you all believe this? Now, I don't know if anybody else used to like Cheech and Chong. I did. In my college days, I liked some Cheech and Chong movies, as well as um, I was a big Sidney Poitier, Bill Cosby fan back then. You know, the Uptown Saturday Night and uh, those other type of movies. So when I saw this movie in the Dollar Tree, I just had to get it. This is the Laugh Out Loud double feature, Cheech and Chong's Nice Dreams, as well as their Things Are Tough All Over. It was really more nostalgia for me, bringing back memories. Um, but I grabbed it, and you never know. Like it, I know a lot of people say, who even watches DVDs these days? Well, one day when my cable wasn't working, what did I pull out? My DVDs, and we popped in a DVD on the DVD player. So, they can come in handy sometimes. Um, okay, let me grab this bag. And you better watch Halloween DVDs, too. And here goes an As Seen on TV, Egglets, Hard Boiled Eggs Without the Shell. And it says, make your favorite dishes. I have not popped this open yet, but you crack, boil, and pop eggs out of the non-stick silicone pod. And you actually end up, your egg comes out like that. So look, crack, boil, pop. Whoa. And I think that's 
a great, you know, I know I know someone who eats hard-boiled eggs all the time. I thought this would be a great little gift for them. I don't eat hard-boiled eggs. Um, I'll maybe see. I know one of my sons likes them. But like them. more in particular, I bought this as a gift. And the Laurel Dollar Tree just got these. And it's loads of them on an end cap. And this is the other Q-Tex I picked up. So I already have the hand and cuticle cream, 24-hour hydration, but this is the unscented. The other one I have is a grapefruit scent. So this was the unscented. This is a 2.7 fluid ounce. I picked up one of those. The Dollar Tree had these, and I was so happy to find them because, again, watching Anna, only in my dreams. I saw her haul this a while ago, so I was glad to see that my Dollar Tree picked it up. They had it, and this is the Airwick Pure um, new Airwick Pure Tropical Flowers Fragrance Air Freshener. I've already sprayed a couple. I, I bought the last, like, three cans I saw them have. And this smells really good. We're really, uh, it was a really great buy to get this. This is 5.5 ounces of this spray. And this is just a regular air fragrance spray. I saw these made with natural saline they say new saline soothers nose wipes you get 20 wipes in here these are for runny nose sore nose allergy nose they're supposed to soothe and moisturize with aloe chamomile and vitamin e and they are fragrance free and i thought this was good because last week the allergies really did get me i had my nose was running we all kind of had like it wasn't a cold in here but i knew it had to be side effects of like having allergies and dealing with the pollen and then I did go ahead, and the time is now, picked up a kid's knit hat in this orange. I thought it kind of matched. These aren't the exact match in orange color, but he wanted the orange hat, and he also wanted the orange and black gloves. These are the three-in-one magic gloves, and they are supposed to be text-friendly, and you can wear them full, fingerless, or both. So pick those up, and also pick them up in gray. And they already have the winter stuff out, so you're going to want to buy it. Um, you just don't want to run out. I was told that supposedly we're going to have a bad winter season. I don't know if that's what you've heard as well. Um, but you want to get those items now. And then this I really enjoyed because uh, this item here I found. I thought it was so great because I do like having the baskets and you can see things. But there are some items of things that I have just to keep for like back up and to have extras in the pantry um, because I bought them at a good deal that I don't want to see and I want them hidden away so I thought this Bella tote was awesome and you know we did see some of the Bella storage plastic storage products previously before this says Bella snap lid it is a 6.25 quart which is a 5.1 liter has Bella right there on the side if you can see that let me get up a little closer. Bella's written right there. Kind of shaped like a shoe box, right? You probably could put some shoes in here. But I'm going to be storing items in these. So I did pick it up in this um, nice mint green. Let me show you all the colors I picked up. The navy blue. The gray. They all come with lids. And then the peach. And I actually have a lot more of the gray, and I've already used those and put some items in them and put them away. And here go all the lids to match, so make sure you do have a lid with this type of container. And guys, that's my Dollar Tree haul. So thank you. Let me grab this bag just to make sure it's empty. So thank you for tuning in to my Dollar Tree haul. This one wants to tell you. See you later. Yep, see you later. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. We'd appreciate you. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And hit the bell. Be notified of our upcoming videos. Hit the bell and, if you're new. And if you liked it, give us a like. We'd appreciate it. So I'm Miss Black Gold. Thank you. Have an hey, awesome weekend on I'm purpose. And we'll be back with you real soon with another Dollar Tree haul. Take care. Bye.